the history of the most classic Louis Vuitton bags. Welcome to Luxify, we talk about fashion, luxury and basically all the best things life has to offer. Welcome to our video about the history of the most classic Louis Vuitton bags. Louis Vuitton is a French fashion house and luxury goods company, founded in 1854 by Louis Vuitton. The iconic LV monogram is one of the most recognizable monograms in the world. It appears on most of its products and more importantly on their handbags. Louis Vuitton is famous for their handbags. Not only they have amazing quality, but their designs are some of the best you could find. Louis Vuitton launched their first bag in 1930, and since then they have designed some of the most recognizable and classic bags ever. Some bags we see out there are passenger trends, and will soon be forgotten, but when it comes to Louis Vuitton classic bags, some of which have been around for almost 90 years, they are simply timeless, and will be around forever. Here I'll show you the history of 5 of the most classic Louis Vuitton bags. If you love their bags, you will love this video. At the end of the video, we have a bonus fact about the classic Louis Vuitton monogram that may surprise you. So without further ado, here is the history of the most classic Louis Vuitton bags. If you are new here, welcome! Please subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Luxficom. Number 5. Louis Vuitton Speedy This is perhaps the most classic of all Louis Vuitton bags, and often is the gateway drug into the Louis Vuitton world. The Speedy was originally launched in 1932 as a travel bag. It was a phone call from Audrey Hepburn that gave this bag the iconic form and size we know today. Audrey requested Louis Vuitton to custom make her a mini Speedy, so it would be more befitting for everyday use. Who knew that a simple phone call could give us this amazing bag that is, to this date, a classic? Today the Speedy 25 is sold for $1,350. This bag has been around for about 90 years. If this isn't a classic bag, then I don't know what is. Number 4. Louis Vuitton Alma The Alma handbag traces its origins to the Art Deco original, introduced in 1934. This was the second bag launched by Louis Vuitton, after only the Speedy. Rumor goes that the Alma was originally made for Coco Chanel as a custom order in 1925. Coco gave permission to produce the bag for the public later on. Its unmistakable shape made this compact bag a timeless classic. There are multiple colors and materials you can choose from, as well as sizes, so you can choose to wear this bag as a crossbody or top handle. Though it's most commonly seen in a monogram finish like most Louis Vuitton bags, there are also metallic and tonal cream finishes. There is an Alma bag for every taste. This is a classic bag with a heritage design, so it's one of those that really hold their value in the resale market. The Alma bag was the only non-Chanel bag that Coco Chanel ever carried. If it was good enough for Chanel, it is good enough for me. This Alma BB in the classic LV monogram is sold for $1,620. Number 3. Louis Vuitton Pochette Accessoires The Louis Vuitton Pochette was originally designed to be an accessory to the Louis Vuitton bucket bag, but when it launched, it became so popular that it transformed into a handbag on its own. This bag's heyday was the 2000s. I'm sure you remember many celebrities crowding around with this bag on their arms. And if you were really lucky, then you might even have had one of these to call your own. This bag is small, but effective. It fits your keys, cell phone, and cards. In recent years, this bag has been growing in popularity once more due to Y2K trends, and in the vintage market, this bag's price has been going up constantly. There were rumors circling around saying that Louis Vuitton was going to discontinue the pochette accessoires, and while you can still find this bag on their website for $1,050, it is always out of stock. So if you find this bag on the vintage market, be quick, because the price will only increase from now on. If you are enjoying this video so far, please subscribe to my channel, so I can continue to bring you the best content about fashion and luxury living. Number 2. Louis Vuitton Never Full Introduced in 2007 and thought to be created to compete with Goyard's St. Louis Tote, the Never Full was designed to be completely reversible with its contrasting interior. 
while it is not widely publicized, the GM size of the Neverfull is able to hold up to 200 pounds of weight, despite the appearance of its delicate handles. This bag is an amazing companion to take to the beach, to the airport, or even to work. In 2013, Louis Vuitton updated their signature tote to include a detachable accessories pouch and they began introducing additional interior lining colors with an updated print and a full leather version. In recent years, the Neverfull has been losing its popularity due to the launch of the on-the-go tote, but this is a classic bag that will always remain relevant despite trends. According to Rebag, an amazing vintage resale platform, the Neverfull is by far one of the most sought-after models in the luxury resale market. According to online platform Designer Vintage, if your Neverfull is still in excellent condition, you could possibly have a resale value of about 80%. A new Neverfull is sold on the Louis Vuitton website for $1,690. Number 1. Louis Vuitton Capuchins First launched in 2013 and named after Rue de Capuchins, the Parisian street on which Louis Vuitton opened its first store in 1854, the Capuchins bag has quickly become a contemporary classic. The now classic Capuchins handbag displays a host of house signatures, leather wrapped LV initials, jewel like handle mounts inspired by historic trunks, and a distinctive flap with a monogram flower motif. Timelessly elegant, this charming model can be carried by hand or worn crossbody on its detachable strap. The Capuchins has established itself as one of the Amazon's most sophisticated models and the perfect canvas for seasonal variations. Since its launch, this bag has become one of the most famous Louis Vuitton bags. The quality of the bag and the attention to detail is unmatched. Behind the apparent simplicity of the Capuchin's design lies a complex creative process and extensive craftsmanship. Each bag is assembled in 250 steps by only the Amazon's most experienced artisans. It's a sophisticated style, perfect for both day and night. The Capuchin's now comes in an array of different colors, designs, and sizes. And with the new limited edition Artie Capuchin's collection, the bag's distinctive design is presented in new variations in collaboration with different artists. This is my opinion, but I believe that Louis Vuitton created this bag so they can better compete with the bags of Hermès and Chanel. The price is certainly comparable. This Capuchin's BB in white leather is sold for $5,650. The most special models can go upwards of $8,000. All the bags seen on this video are linked below. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. Comment below which brands you would like to know more about. And for sticking with us this far, here is some bonus information. The most recognizable Louis Vuitton prints were created to avoid counterfeits. Both Louis Vuitton's famous Damier and monogram prints were created to avoid copycats. To protect against the duplication of his work, Vuitton changed the Trianon design to a beige and brown striped design in 1876. By 1885, the company opened its first store in London on Oxford Street, and soon thereafter, due to the continuing imitation of his look, in 1888, Vuitton created the Damier canvas pattern, which bore a logo that translates into El Vuitton Registered Trademark. In 1896, the company launched the signature monogram canvas and made the worldwide patents of it. Its graphic symbols, including quarter foils and flowers, as well as the LV monogram, were based on the trend of using Japanese bone designs in the late Victorian era. The patents later proved to be successful in decreasing counterfeiting. Thank you for spending some time with us and make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. In return, I'll provide you with the best content about fashion, travel and luxury living. See you soon!